Hey guys, this is V here, doing a small review on my Y-Rock HW35-177. So this is a, a kind of a low-powered medium rifle. Um, the stock is made out of beech, beech wood. I'm going to go ahead and bring it to the over here. It's hard, to, it's hard to really see it from here. Anyway... Oh, yeah, it's made out of beech, and uh, the length of the whole rifle is uh, 43.3 inches. The barrel length is 18.5 inches. The weight of it is 7.8 inches. But with this scope, this is a uh, Vantage. Let me see, 4 by 12 by 50, and that thing... It's it weighs like 21 ounces, so it, yeah, it's the the rifle is a little heavy. I like I like it heavy though, but yeah. Anyway, the power plant is spring piston. The velocity is rated at up to 550 feet per second, but I did crony this thing, so I got the paperwork for that. I'll show you show it at the end. This rifle you can buy it. I don't see, I haven't seen this rifle very many, of only one store that I know of in the United States, and it is uh, Air Guns of Arizona. They have it in Walnut, which is prettier than this thing. And uh, it's got the stock swivels, one right here, and then one right here. And that's kind of pretty nice. But anyway, they have it there for $529. And uh, it's the walnut stock, the ones they have. So, so anyway, the it's, it's got iron sights. They're pretty heavy duty. They're nice. Well, Byrock, Byrock's all you got to say. Here's the the front one. And this can you can change it, change it. Anyway. So, and it's got this inner lock for the barrel, for the barrel lock. And uh, it's supposed to be like um, uh, under lever accuracy, which it is pretty accurate. And uh, so I'm going to demonstrate how this works here. So there it is, you just kind of push it like that and it breaks and here's the the porthole what it looks like this is really nice the way the Viroc has these things quality all the way man German steel the way when it when it clips when you close it and you rake it it's really really super silky smooth um let me see So it's weighty. So anyway, the trigger, it's got the record trigger, two-stage trigger, adjustable. And these triggers are really super sweet, man. And, and uh, so yeah, and this screw right here, that screw, if you back it up counterclockwise, it uh, makes the trigger softer. So... Yeah, anyway, so what I gotta say now is uh, I have a kit in it. I got a TBT kit. This guy right here. But only this one is for 95, 98, 99, whatever. But I got I have a kit for that, and this is what it brings. One of these guys. Let me put that in there like that. And then there's your top hat. And then these guys are for if you want a more power. Just slip those in there. Or on the opposite side over here, I think. Anyway, and then it comes with this Luber lubricant thing. Molly. So anyway, I got this kit in and it makes it shoot uh I think it's a little louder myself. 
and uh, it's got a really nice short stroke. It just pop a dry, a dry uh, sounding stroke. It just pop, just really smooth. So, but anyway, so I, I took it out and shot it. Here are the in uh, 10, 17, 20, I shot it. These are five shot groups with the JSB 8.44 grain. This is the QY dome. These are those uh, Chinese uh, pellets. Look at the Crossman uh, dome, 7.9. And then you got the H&N. 8.64 grain field target trophy and these are the same as these over here and then uh, over here oh that was at 30 yards by the way this is at 30 yards over here at 27 yards three shot groups with H&N field target trophy 8.64 grains look at these that you can fit a tack right there there's another one there, so, but yeah, got one flyer right here, so, and over here with those Chinese rifle, uh, Chinese pellets, again, at 30 yards, they're pretty decent groups for a brake barrel anyway, but anyway, now I'm going to show the crony numbers. Here are the chron chronograph numbers. We got the Crossman Hollow Point, 7.9. High, 810. Low, 787. The spread is 13, and the average is 799. And here's the JSB 8.44 grains. High, 796. Low, 776 the spread 20 and the average 776 so we're going heavier here with the crossman dome 10.5 grain high 655 low 651 the spread four average 650 these are pretty good numbers right here if we had the jsb these these shoot pretty decently accurate also so I'm I gotta try the JSB 10 grain ones anyway so that's about it um see did I forget anything let's show the butt pad here there's the butt pad and there's the other side of the rifle Man, this thing is built so freaking. So, um, solid. This is a solid rifle. If somebody who doesn't want to, wants to shoot accurate and have a, a, a rifle that's going to last and not eat up your scopes, this is the one right here. Anyway. That's about it. So thank you very much. Have a good day.